Welcome, welcome, welcome to the last episode. Ooh. I hope you've been getting your feels for the nights that have passed because this one is our last bedtime story. Just a little background story. This episode here is the reason I have done the bedtime stories um, series <laughs> like this. This man has influenced a whole series worth of stuff. So hear ye, hear ye. Gather around, grab your blankets and prepare to guess because I have a bedtime story to tell, the last bedtime story. And this one's going to be about Avon. And remember that all names in the story have been changed to protect the fuck boys, but this one here, you guys, is a man. So I'm in college and I walk the campus and I see Avon. And at this, this is freshman year, so at the time I was taken, you know, I was just seeing him from a distance. It was, it was like a cute, innocent crush. He was tall, light skinned, handsome, fine. He was in organizations and stuff like that. Uh, I told my roommate this when I was like sophomore year. I told her about him and that after class, I would go to the bookstore and, you know, get like a drink or something. And he would be in the bookstore, just, you know, so coinkadinkily. She told me that if I always see him in the bookstore, I, bookstore, I need to shoot my shot. So I'm like, shoot my shot? No, I'm shy. He's so fine. So I probably went in there like three times after she had this conversation. And, you know, I was just still dipping and dodging him, hiding behind the counters. Like I would see him, but he wouldn't see me. So I was like, okay, one day I'll say something maybe because I think one time I went in there and he didn't come into the bookstore. And I said, ooh, he may never come in again. I need to shoot my shot next time. So I think next time came, I probably still didn't do it. Just, just know, one day it came. My opportunity came. My courage was up there. And I walked over to him and I said, hi, I just wanted you to know that, like, uh, you're really cute. And what's funny is I say stuff like this all the time to people that I see nowadays, like a random stranger. I'd be like, you are fine. You are cute. You are sexy. You look good. You know, just give it a, like a nice, nice little compliment. So this was probably the first time I actually did this. But he was like, thank you. He was like, what's your name? I said, Sierra. And he asked me another question, and I think I, I answered it. And then he was like, are you okay? I was like... What you mean? Like I had to, I stopped everything and I gathered myself like like what, what you mean? Yeah, I'm fine. What you talking about? He was like, Oh, okay, I was just making sure. I was like, Yeah, I'm good. So I grabbed my juice and I was like, All right, well, I'll talk to you later. And he was like, All right, bye. And that was the end of our first conversation. And when I went back and told my uh roommate, she was like, Girl, you probably look like you was about to pass out. And then I thought about it, I was like, Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't look like that. I was probably red in the face, hot, breathing hard, like, oh my gosh, I had not evaluated myself and I feel like such a dork doing that I did not really go into the bookstore after class uh, anymore I was just scared to run into him because I felt like I just looked like a dork over the years I don't know really what happened somehow I got his number on Instagram and I was so fucking pressed I was so pressed I was jumping up and down in my room I was like yes 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 <laughs> I got Avon's number and we were texting a little bit and then sooner sooner or later after over the years the texting became, became like a flirtatious thing he came to my dorm room once I gave him like something to drink because he was thirsty so I just gave him some drink and he left and it was another innocent time where he came over for like something and he left which was fine because you know I was just happy to have that man in my pool Peasants. Ooh! He came to my apartment once and he sat on the edge of my bed and then like he was tired so he was like he wanted to take a nap. I was like sure. So he lay down, I lay down. And then we lay down, you feel me, Joe? Ah, what a bitch work at a candy store. Okay, let me calm myself. <sighs> so, I did some adult things. Just to go ahead and let you know, it had happened again. And it was like my dreams came true. I just felt like at that point in time, I could get anybody I wanted. I had already gotten a god. I could get any, I, I might be sizing it just a little bit, but to me, this <laughs> Some, some of y'all know who I'm talking about because I had to express this to my girlfriend. So some of y'all know who I'm talking about and guess it was good and would I do it again? Don't ask me, I'm getting hot in here. So thank you Avon for inspiring this series. I hope you have all gotten your fill for tonight and all these other nights. Um, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Remember to breathe through your nose and your bitch is ugly, will forever be ugly, will never be competing against me because I am so beautiful against all her ugliness. And if you don't have this mindset, you don't have me as a friend. You cannot have me as uh, a mentor, uh, somebody to look up to because this is the mindset every female should have. Your bitch is ugly. Get it? Got it. Gucci, all right, okay. That man is so fun. Oh my.
my gosh. <laughs>